Okay, hey guys, so I just wanted to make a really quick video on how to fix your Death Adder Mini sensor problem. And the issue that I've seen online, I've used it and I was like, why is my aim weird? And then I realized I could pick it up and it would still track. And so I decided to test this theory by using the old CD method and comparing it to another mouse with much lower left off distance. And let me see if I can get it. Yeah, it's still tracking on my computer, which is crazy because this is like, if you see, that's two DVDs or CDs tall and it should not be able to track. But for example, if I get out my Model O that I've been using for around a year and a half, it's not track whatsoever. And I'm super used to that. So from moving from something like this to a mouse like this is very hard. Because everything else is great about this mouse. Don't get me wrong, I love this mouse. It's just that when I pick it up, because I, I do a lot of flicks and stuff and I move my hand a lot on the mouse pad and when I just pick it up, it just starts to track and then I just lose my position and I die in many games. So I found a fix for this and it's kind of buried in Razer Sight, which is kind of weird, but it is a little firmware update for the Death Adder Mini and I'm just gonna walk you guys through on how to get that done to fix your Death Adder Mini. So alright guys, so I put the link for this in the description box down below, so that will take you to this. And this is directly directly published by Razer and you can go to their website. It's kinda hidden on how to, how to get this uh, little PDF where you get all the instructions for updating the firmware. So I just linked it below after finding it. It's like a little pile which is weird. So once you get here you can just scroll through the steps so first you want to download this right and then you want to run it so it basically gives you all the instructions so I did all of this and then yeah 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 okay so let me yeah next uh, so it is connected to my computer right now but I'm using a model to click through all of this just to make sure so update is required it's plugged in update so the I wish the uh, what is it called switches on the Razer Death Adder Mini were better. I feel like they're just so mushy that at sometimes I can't even feel when I click. And like here, you can hear it clicking. Yeah, it's pretty mushy, but I don't know what they were thinking with this. It's not tactile at all. I'm very used to Omrons because that's what I had for a long time. Being I want to try other switches like Kale and stuff, but. Unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity to, to yet, and I may try soldering, but it seems like a bit of a process. But I really wish you could uh, switch out the switches in this because it's stupid. Because, like, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel that. I don't get what they were thinking at all. Maybe it's faster, but I feel like I can click this click slower than Omron switches. But apparently, the actuation is faster. So I guess that defeats the whole purpose of it in my opinion. So I guess it's almost done verifying the firmware. Okay. Hurry up, please. So after these after this uh firmware installation is complete, I'm gonna test it again on my DVDs uh stacked up and try with one and then a stack of two DVDs and make sure that it actually has changed a little. Alright guys, so you saw the update did complete, so I'm going to test the Razer Death Adder Mini V2 on the, um, I'm going to do the CD test with it again. So right here, we have the mouse, right? So I'm just going to space this out a little, because I guess they're a little too close. And I'm going to, so if you look at the screen, my mouse pointer is right there, right? And I'm moving the mouse. You guys hear that? It's not doing anything, so I guess it did fix the problem, but I did feel like it's still kind of there, so I'll try one DVD just to measure, because in the software, the Razer Synapse software, it's kind of weird, but it doesn't actually tell you, I mean, it doesn't give you the option to adjust the lift-off distance, which is kind of stupid. I feel like that is very necessary, because it depends on what type of player you are and what type of sense you play on, so it's, I feel like it's one of the number one features right after DPI adjustment in a mouse software. So, um, and the sensor's right there. Okay, so it is tracking. 
about one DVD tall. So my mouse is right there. And it's right on top. And that seems to be oh wait, it's moving a little. Okay, so yeah. Um let me just compare this to the model real quick. So we have this. Where is the mouse? Okay. And it so it still is a little bit higher than other mice like the model this doesn't have super thick skates on them tiger r2s they're not that much thicker than stock or if not thicker at all so it does seem to be this cannot track two dvds tall and that's how i prefer it right but you may be different maybe you probably want a little bit of a higher lift off distance and this mouse with the firmware update will achieve that and it's tracking perfectly what the heck with these uh, it's a single DVD stack and they're about this thick so yeah it did fix the problem but to a degree not completely gone so it's not nearly as good as my Model O but that did help in my scenario I'm gonna try it in a few games and I'm pretty confident that it will change the outcome so that's just a quick video on how to fix your Razer Dev Editor Mini V2, and just thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.